Yo, what's going on? Patrick James here and in this video we're going to be talking about how to have cool and interesting and flirtatious and fun conversations that are free flowing without running out of things to say and any good promise that I can make about your conversations we're going to cover that in this video. Cue the intro. Okay. Alright, so the reason I'm talking about this and the reason I made so many bold promises in the intro, before the intro of this video, is because uh, I'm scrolling through my YouTube comments right here looking for a topic to make a video about and one of the things that I'm noticing is that a lot of you guys really want to know how to have fun, cool, flirtatious, and funny conversations with the women that you're interacting with, talking to, or could potentially be talking to. So let's just free flow this video and uh, kind of just go from there. So first off, here's the step-by-step -step process that I go through to have fun, interesting, free flowing, and engaging conversations with women or just with anybody in general. One, you have to realize that if you're gonna be having fun conversations and free-flowing conversations, you gotta get rid of this, this filter that's like somewhere between your mouth and your brain, right? Because you got your brain where you're thinking about the things to say, right? And then you got your mouth where the words actually come out. But in between here, if you struggle with free-flowing conversations, in between here, there's a filter. So what I want you to do is fuck your filter, right? Fuck it. Because if you're talking to a girl and you're you're all up in here and you're trying to think of the perfect things to say, you're trying to wonder what you should say to keep this, this conversation going in a free-flowing, fun and engaging manner, you're already fucking up and your filter is working overtime. Now, why is this? It's because, just think about back in high school when you had to write those papers that you did not, absolutely did not want to write. What happened when you were forced to write something that you did not want to write? You hit writer's block, right? But but here's the secret, man. I used to hate writing and I used to think that I was a bad writer, but I have a book now and one of the things that is my claim to fame is my daily email newsletter, so I'm writing every day. What's the difference here? What's the difference between me writing now easily and free flowing when I type and me back in high school, back in college, writing term papers that I was forced to write that I hated writing when I would hit writer's block all the time. What's the difference here? Well, one is the, the topics that I'm talking about. I'm always talking about things that I'm interested in, things that I'm passionate about in my writing that seems to free flow, that I seem to be able to write easily and naturally. That's the first one. Back then when I had, I, li I literally remember when I was in college, I had to write a term paper about why my campus should have a bus system for students to take. I gave no shits about public transportation in my school. No fucks given. And it was really hard for me to write that paper. Really hard. Not only did I hit writer's block, but I just, I wasn't passionate about that topic at all. So for you, first tip I would give you, if you wanna have fun, engaging, and flirty conversations that are just free flowing, is start talking about things that you're actually interested in. Most guys, they believe that when engaging with a girl, especially for the first time, that they have to stick to the standard norms. They have to talk about what is um, you know, acceptable to talk about in a first conversation, right? What do you do? Where are you from? What's your name? What are your siblings like? Like All these different things that are like interview style questions that I'm telling you what, do you actually give a shit what she does if you don't even know if you're gonna vibe with her 10 minutes from now? No, fuck no. You're just look, looking for conversational topics to talk about, right? So stop asking boring questions that you truly legitimately do not give a fuck about and start talking about the things that you're actually interested in. And one of my rules for this is I'm always going to say the first thing that pops into my mind, right? Because we, we talked about this filter that exists right here, somewhere in between your, your brain and your mouth. This filter is like right here and it's fucking up your conversations, right? The way you release that filter, relieve it altogether, is just, just get rid of it altogether. If the thought pops up, just say it. Right? And that's what I do in my conversations. And you'll, you might observe me in the field, you might observe me talking to my girlfriend, you might have seen me talking to women before, especially if we've done, if we've done coaching together, and you go, damn, this guy never runs out of things to say. It's because I understand that my mind doesn't stop working. Your mind doesn't stop working. Even when you are sleeping, your mind is always having thoughts. All right? Nobody can clear their mind, not even a Buddhist monk. 
right? Buddhist monks don't clear their mind when they when they meditate. Buddhist monks, all they do is observe their thoughts and don't latch onto them. What I want you to do in conversation is not clear your mind, is not plan out what to say, is not ask and stick to these social constructs that you ha- think you have to and ask these questions that are interview style questions because that's what everybody else does. Start just saying what pops up into your head. If I, if I walk into a room that's completely white, there's nothing on the walls, right? And there's only one girl in this room and nothing else, nothing that we can talk about. I can still talk about things that I find interesting in that environment, right? First off, off the top of my head, if I walked into a room that was completely empty, there's absolutely nothing going on, and there's just one girl that I wanna talk to, I can have a conversation for days with her. Here's how, I walk up and I say the first thing that pops into my head. Then when I run out of things to say, I say the next thing that pops into my head. So in that scenario, what's the first thing that would pop up into my head? First thought, Why the hell is this room so empty? Why are you the only one in this room? Are you a stalker? Are you trying to trap me? What's going on here? And now I can vibe on that one playful topic. Oh, you're you're totally trying to stalk me, aren't you? I I'm on to you women. I know these traps. I know these tricks. You know, should I think I should get out of here. I I actually have my friend on speed dial just in case I told him this this could happen, right? This is banter. This is playful. I'm playful, I'm challenging, and I'm making observations and fucking my filter when it comes to conversation. So that's the first tip that I would give you. What's the next tip that I would give you? Well, the next tip is to literally drop your standards for what you think you could say. Going back to the whole writer's block example, why did writer's block happen in the first place? Other than the fact that it wasn't a topic you were passionate about, well, it happened because you were trying to write a masterpiece every word along the way. Even if you are passionate about a topic that you're writing about, you will still get writer's block if you're trying to make every single word perfect. So, you know, in dating advice, I give you a lot of things to say, right? But ultimately, if you're thinking, well, Patrick wouldn't say that, right? Then you're also messing up and you're also going to hit writer's block and you're also going to run out of things to say. Why is that? Because you're trying to write a masterpiece every word along the way. Great writers have a secret, is that if they're writing something, All they have to do is just get all their thoughts onto the paper and then they go back and edit it after the fact, right? That's the secret. So with conversations, we've already established that you need to um, drop your filter and just, if you have a thought, just say it, make an observation. If something pops up in your head, it's likely because that's the most interesting thing to you in that moment. So say it, talk about it, verbalize it, and see if the other person can relate to that experience. That's one. And number two is stop trying to write a masterpiece every sentence along the way. If you're not sure if this is going to be the right thing to say, well, the only way to find out is if that thing is going to work is if you actually say it. Right, so I live by one philosophy. Act now, ask for forgiveness later. If you say something that offends her or isn't very funny, then just make up for it. Course correct along the way. But when you do this, you're gonna start getting calibrated. You're gonna start honing in. You're gonna know what people generally respond to and what people generally don't. Right? That's the best advice I can give you if you struggle with free-flowing fun and engaging conversations is to actually talk about things that you are passionate about, that's the free-flowing part, and things that you are interested in, fun and engaging. All right. And here's the thing, man, here's the cool part. When you're always talking about things that are fun and engaging for yourself, things that you find entertaining, just by the simple fact that emotions are contagious, the girls and the women that you talk to will also feel that emotional high as well. And it's gonna rub off on them and they're going to associate the good emotions that they feel with being around you and now women wanna be around you. Isn't it crazy how it works out like that? All right, man, this was a quick, raw, and hopefully not very edited video. I'm in my living room right now, and uh, my dog is sleeping behind me. But that said, before we get out of here, I do want you to do a couple things. One, I just posted a brand new vlog to my second YouTube channel. If you wanna go watch my first vlog and see the, the behind the scenes of what I'm doing when I'm not in dating coach mode, when I'm hanging out with my girlfriend, when I'm going out and partying, when I'm building up my business, raw dating advice from the ground up and creating a movement of badass guys like yourself, 
go over to my second channel, the link is in the description, watch the first vlog and hit that subscribe button. Number two, if you wanna learn how to attract women anytime, anywhere, I have a book, it's completely free, it's called 107 Proven Ways to Get the Girl, and you can get it for free, all you gotta do is pay shipping and handling, and I'll send it to you anywhere in the world. Now that said, I am going to get out of here, man. I will see you on Wednesday. It's Monday right now, I'll see you in two days. All right, peace out. Okay.